Greetings everybody, John Tar here, and today I'm going to go over my checklist for New Game Plus. So fair warning, there are going to be some spoilers in this video, um, because I'm going to be talking about all the bosses in the game and everything you need to do before going on to New Game Plus. So uh, after killing the final boss, it'll be very obvious, it'll make it very clear that do you want to begin Journey 2? And then eventually you'll say no, you go back to this bonfire and say, do you really want to begin Journey 2? No. Um, so, the first thing you want to do before going to New Game Plus is make sure that you killed all the bosses. If it's your first time through the game, you, maybe you missed a boss along the way. The easiest way to check whether or not you've killed all the bosses is go to this throne here, and if there are 39 different items that you can transmute here, that means that you've killed all the bosses. That's going to be seven rows of five items and one row of four items. So I've killed all the bosses. Pretty easy way to check. This, the second thing you want to do is probably do a lot of late game soul grinding. So um, the soul grinding video that I put out a while ago, or soul farming rather. The soul farming video I put out not too long ago, it's been patched, it's not as easy, but there's a very easy way to uh, get a ton of souls in the Grand Archives, and I'll go over that in just a minute. But the reason you want to do all this soul grinding is to just, I don't know, boost your levels a little bit before going on a new game plus. It's a pretty easy place to get a bunch of souls. But more importantly, you want to... Or if you're as OCD as I am, you're going to want to buy every finite item that you can. So from the Shrine Handmaid, she sells new armor from every boss that you kill. And there's a ton of things here, and the cost of these adds up pretty quick. So every item that has a 1 next to it is a finite item. Now, what I also like to do is I like to go through and buy all, like, as many wood bolts as I can, buy all the rings that I want to buy, uh, buy all embers that I can possibly buy, buy a whole bunch of uh, utility items like blooming purple moss clumps, uh, fire bombs, poison throwing knives. Um, Gray Rat disappeared for me, but he also sells a whole bunch of stuff that's very helpful. Buy a whole bunch of undead hunter charms. Uh, you don't need to buy Homeward Bones because you'll still carry over um, some special items. Buy as many Titanite chunks and Titanite scales because all of these things are going to reset as soon as you get into New Game Plus. Like These will not be here. The Helm of Favor will not be there until you kill... Uh, hmm, I'm not even sure which boss that represents, but anyway. Uh, like, for example, the Dancer's Crown won't be there until you actually kill the Dancer in New Game Plus. So, all those items will disappear as soon as you begin New Game Plus. Titanite Slabs are very unique items. There are, I believe, only six or seven per playthrough. And check the link in the description. It's a pretty good list of all the different Titanite Slab locations for each playthrough. I would make sure to go through the game and find all of those before going on a New Game Plus. I would also recommend upgrading before going on a New Game Plus. Upgrading any weapons that you think you may want to switch to for New Game Plus. I played through this whole playthrough with my with katanas. So for New Game Plus, I'm most likely going to switch to a uh, strength build. So, for example, I went through and I upgraded this Dragon Slayer Great Axe to plus five. So, in the Cathedral of the Deep, when you talk to Rosaria here, respecting your points, you can only do it five times per playthrough. So, like I mentioned before, if you played through your whole first time as a dexterity build and you think, eh, you know what, I kind of want to switch it up for New Game Plus, now is the time to do it because this is not immediately accessible when you begin New Game Plus. So, and you can only do it five times, you can only be rebirthed five times during this lifetime. The next thing to do before going on New Game Plus is trade any items that you haven't traded yet that you want with the crows because Every item that you can trade with the crows, whether it's a prism stone 
or uh, an, uh, a Homeward Bone, or Siege Brow, you can only do it once per playthrough. So the final step is to kill all the NPCs, and I would kill the Shrine Handmaid last, absolutely last. Um, but before I do that, uh, and before I show you the very easy late game soul grinding that, I, that I've been using a lot, there's a couple notes that I want to point out about going to New Game Plus. First, you will lose any key items you have. All of these keys are going to disappear. Any ashes you have, any uh, tomes you have that you may want to save to quickly give to the merchant in New Game Plus, they'll be gone. Uh, second, so you can see I have 14 Estus Flasks and plus 10. I have no idea which Estus Flask shard I missed, but I'm not going to stress about it because the max is 15 and plus 10. But, and, and you can get that, that maxed out on one playthrough, but they will all reappear in New Game Plus. So as soon as I go to New Game Plus, I'm just going to buy that 20,000 soul key, that um, the, the tower key, and just get the the, uh, the Estus Flask shard that's at the very top of here, and then get that max, maxed Estus Flask right away. Also, third, third note, do not stress about unfound uh, rings or any items. So if you're going for the Master of Rings achievement, which is collect every single ring in the game, don't worry about it, because when you go to New Game Plus, there's going to be lots of plus one versions of ring. Like, for example, the Covetous Silver Serpent Ring will go to the plus one, which gives you, I think, two and a half extra percent um, on top of the 10% that it already gives. And when you get to New Game Plus, there are some plus two rings as well. But all of the rings from the, from the previous playthrough will be in their original locations. They don't disappear. Going to New Game Plus does not exclude you from finding all the rings that were there on New Game. Covenant ranks carry over to New Game Plus. So, for example, if you turned in 10 Pale Tongues to Rosaria's Fingers, and then went to New Game Plus, and then turned in 20 more, to get a total of 30 in New Game Plus, then that it, it, it carries over. You do not have to hit the max rank each playthrough. All right, I think those are all the notes that I wanted to cover. So now I'm gonna show you a great, easy late game soul grinding spot. So from the Grand Archives, I wanna run up this elevator here. And if you somehow missed this elevator shortcut, I'll show you how to unlock it in just a second. This is, we're, we're basically gonna farm the three fat golden winged knights at the very top here. So, send that back down. I set my stopwatch so I can time myself and see how quick it is. So that, um, if you didn't have that elevator unlocked from that, uh, from that last bonfire, you can just pull this lever here and I am directly at the bottom of this large staircase leading up to the Twin Prince's boss fight, the second to last boss fight in the game. But where we want to go is up these stairs here, around this dome, and you can see those two fat winged knights up there. Those are the guys we're going to kill when I have the Covetous Silver Serpent Ring and the Shield of Want equipped at the same time, they give you 17,000 souls apiece. What I like to do is run forward, and as soon as I see them drop down, turn around and run away. You do not want to fight two of these guys, or three of them, at the same time. Lock on, hit one of them with a throwing knife, back out a little bit. Oh my god, he just threw his freaking axes at me. <laughs> so, aggro one of them with a throwing knife, because you do not want to fight multiples of them at a time, and they have a decent amount of health, but as long as you're fighting one at a time, they're not too hard to kill. So one down, as you can see, I just got 17,160, and they frequently drop, or well, they almost, almost 100% of the time seem to drop large Titanite shards or Titanite chunks, and if you, you can sell those as well if you have enough of them. Alright, the second one is down. Oh god, no he's not down, he has one health left. Okay, second one's down. Let's kill the third one and then get out of here. All right, all three of them are now dead. And it took me three and a half minutes to kill three of them 
and get 17,000 souls per. So that is a lot of souls for three and a half minutes worth of farming. You just teleport back to the bonfire last rested at and go on. But instead, I'm going to kill all the NPCs. So there are two NPCs that are accessible from the cliff underside bonfire. And these are the two, if you've been taught, like, Everybody has a different situation depending on who all you talk to throughout the game. Like maybe you didn't even rescue the Miracle uh, NPC first. Or maybe you missed a Pyromancer or something like that. But most likely these are the only NPCs that are left for you after your first playthrough. Assuming that you really thoroughly search the game and um, try to talk to everybody. So the first one is going to be Igon of Karim. And he's the guy that's chilling right over here, normally, just sitting on this rock right here, guarding uh, the miracle selling lady that is in this jail cell here, and oh boy, oh I can be trouble, I'm totally stuck. Okay, killed those two guys, <laughs> disaster averted. And the other NPC that you want to kill is uh, the giant in the tower up here, so let's, hopefully this takes me up, yep. And the giant at the very top of the tower is going to drop the, I believe it's the hawk ring. A ring that increases uh, the distance that you can shoot arrows. So if you talk to him before, he's friendly now, but screw you, buddy. Wow, I killed him. They can do that. Yep, the cock ring. So before I kill all the NPCs at the Shrine Bonfire, again, I'll be very, very, very... Oh, there's one NPC that I didn't point out that you may want to kill. It's the Shrine Handmaid in the dark version of Firelink Shrine. Because uh, she sells different items and stuff like that as well. So if you kill her, she increases her prices. So I would kill her absolutely last. The Killing her is the absolutely last thing you should do before going to New Game Plus. Uh, because I still want to buy a whole bunch of these silly hats that she has for sale, for example. Anyway, so let's kill the NPCs. Screw you, Siri. You don't really work that well anyway for my iPhone. One more. Kill you. Wow, one and done. I don't think she actually drops anything. Nope. So I, I didn't talk to any of these NPCs in my first playthrough, so all these guys are just chilling here as if I never talked to them in the first place. So this is a very strange... Uh, most of these guys probably won't be here for you. Th this is my character that I did my bonfire to bonfire, basically minimalist walkthrough with, so I, I didn't do any of the NPC side quests. He's gonna drop the... Oh, the silver place. Ah, uh, and the lift chamber key. So I'm gonna use that lift chamber key and then get the uh, the red eye orb before going to New Game Plus. And don't forget about patches up here. Oh, uh, the Covenant NPCs do not drop anything. Rosaria or um, oh shoot, I'm drawing the blank on the other. Like the the big fat dude that's in the water. Um, so he dropped the horse of the ring, pure shield, all the Katarina stuff. So he also dropped the ashes, or his own ashes. So I'm going to give those to the Shrine Handmaid before I kill her and see what new stuff she has for sale. I, I, I believe that she only has, uh, when I give her Patches ashes, only the stuff that he had for sale originally. So Grey Rat died for me on this playthrough, so I can't kill him. And this Pyromancer is the only one that I bothered, rec or bothered saving. And I'm gonna buy all the Pyromancies before I kill him. Just because I'm obsessive. And then I don't really care about any of those items. I've completely reinforced the Pyromancy Flame. It's time for you to die! Yeah, what you're trying to drop his own ashes and all of his armor. Cool. I didn't rescue the other NPCs, so there won't be anybody there. Kill Andre. I believe he increases his prices as well. Make sure you're hot. Okay, be careful. 
And now I can kill her if I want, but I actually still want to go through and grind out a bunch more souls to buy the rest of the armor. So anyway, uh, thanks for checking out this video, everybody. I hope it helped. Um, yeah. See you in New Game Plus and game on.